Hello everybody, my name is Morgan and I'm the new Youth Services Librarian here at the Radford Public Library and today I'm going to be doing a board book story time. So we're going to sing a few songs, read a couple books, and it's going to be really fun. So we're going to start off with a song and I want everyone to join in, okay? So we clap and sing hello, we clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Next, we're gonna stomp our feet, okay? So I want you to stomp your feet with me. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. Now we're gonna wave. Can you wave with me? We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. Okay, thanks. We're going to read a book called Apple Farmer Annie. Now, if you look at this cover, what do you think this book's gonna be about? I want you to take a moment and think about what this book might be about. Okay, it's by Monica Wellington. Annie is an apple farmer. She has a big orchard of apple trees. Has anyone been to an apple orchard? And picked apples. In the fall, she picks baskets and baskets of round, ripe apples. She grows many kinds of apples. She sorts and organizes them. Annie uses some of the apples to make sweet apple cider. Raise your hand if you like apple cider. She uses others to make delicious, smooth applesauce. I love applesauce. Do you? She loves baking muffins, cakes, and pies with her apples. All those sound good to me. But she saves the most beautiful ones of all to sell fresh at the market. She loads everything into her truck and drives to the city. Annie the apple farmer sets up her stand in the farmer's market. Who's been to the farmer's market in Radford? Maybe you found an apple stand. Lots of customers come to Annie's stand. She is busy all day long. And I see here she's selling Macintosh apples, her apple cider that she made, applesauce cake, that sounds delicious, and she's got red delicious apples over here too. By the end of the day, she has sold everything. She packs up to go home. Annie is tired, but happy. It feels so good to have her own apple farm. Okay, parents, before you start reading a book to your child, it's always good to have them look at the cover and maybe answer what they think it's going to be about because that helps to increase interest. Okay, we're gonna do another song, but there's a couple signs that we need to know, and I'm talking signs like in sign language. So there are three that we need to know for this song. One is time, like you're tapping your watch. We've got book, reading a book, and we've also got friends. So time, book, and friends, okay? I'll do it one time and then I want you guys to join in with me next time, okay? It's time to read a book with all my friends. It's time to read a book with all my friends. It's time to read a book. It is time to read a book. It is time to read a book with all my friends. Okay, I want you to join in. It's time to read a book with all my friends. It's time to read a book with all my friends. It is time to read a book. It is time to read a book. It is time to read a book with all my friends. Okay, our next book is called Leaves and it's by David Ezra Stein. And I see on the cover that we've got a lot of falling leaves, which that's happening here now. And I also see a bear. Has anyone ever seen a bear before? I saw one in my backyard once. It was pretty scary. 
if you have seen a bear, were you scared? Were you excited? Or are you jealous that maybe other people have seen a bear if you haven't? Okay, so we're gonna read leaves. It was his first year. So that means that this bear is a baby. Everything was going well. Until the first leaf fell. Are you okay? He wondered. Then a red one fell. A yellow one fell. All over his island, the leaves were falling. He tried to catch them and put them back on, but it was not the same. He sat beneath the tree and watched them go all around, but he grew sleepy. And so he found a hole and filled with leaves, filled it with leaves. And went to sleep just as the wind began to blow. Winter came, he slept snug in the ground while the snow piled thick. In the spring, with wide eyes, he woke. He felt the sun and saw the little buds on the bare arms of the trees and the tiny leaves that had begun to unfold. Welcome, he cried. Certainly looks very happy. And he thought the leaves welcomed him. Okay, those were our two books. So we read Apple Farmer Annie and a book called Leaves. And I've got one more little song for you. Okay, we've got to learn another couple few signs. So it's our goodbye song. So we need to say goodbye. So goodbye, and we already know friends and time. So goodbye, friends, and time. And then there's one more and it's say, say. Just like you're pointing to your mouth, like you're saying something. Okay, so I'll do it once and then I want you guys to join in with me, okay? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Good. Bye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. All right, join in with me. Let's see if you can do all those signs, all right? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. All right. Thank you so much for joining me in this story time, and I hope to see you next time.